We just picked up our cake tasting samples from Elizabeth Oliver Baking. And I'm so excited. We got to pick out five different combinations. So there's like a bunch of cake flavors and a bunch of filling flavors. So we got to choose combinations that we like. So we did vanilla cake with coconut buttercream, chocolate cake with hazelnut ganache buttercream, coconut cake with salted caramel buttercream, chai cake with white chocolate buttercream, and red velvet cake with vanilla buttercream. And then like the top or around it is all just gonna be plain buttercream, but this is like for the filling. Oh my gosh, I'm so Excited. I wanted yellow cake with chocolate frosting. Do you have that? It smells so good. I need to show you. Look at this. Oh my gosh, and it's actually like a lock too. Yeah. Okay, first one's vanilla cake with coconut buttercream. That's literally where I was gonna take from. <laughs> literally. Take the other side. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Cheers. Pretty good. That is really good. There's actual coconut shavings in it. Okay, next. Chocolate cake with hazelnut ganache buttercream. Excuse me. This is like a muck, this one's a lot like a, softer. A muck bang. Cheers. It's so chocolatey. Good. It is good, but I just feel like chocolate cake isn't the vibe for a wedding. If you get chocolate frosting on my dress, that would not be good. That's really good too. I mean, it just tastes like chocolate cake. I'm thinking chocolate cake with coconut frosting. Okay, next. Coconut cake with salted caramel buttercream. I think this is going to be my favorite, but we shall see. The coconut's just so good. Like, it smells so good. Cheers. It's pretty good. Mm-hmm. It's not too caramel. So sweet. It doesn't taste how I thought it would taste. Like, it's not as, like, rich. Chai cake with white chocolate buttercream. Chai cake. How cool is that? Cheers. No thanks. I mean, it tastes like chai. It's good, but it's so sweet. No thanks. He doesn't like chai. I just wanted to try it. Red velvet with vanilla buttercream. The last one, we're not doing this. Look how red it is. Look at it, it's so bright. It's good though. That's it's really good. It's less sweet than the chocolate one. A red cake though? It's not gonna be red. It is. No, it's gonna be white on the outside. The inside's gonna be red. And? And the vanilla and coconut. I liked it too, but what are they you called? really want a white cake, then we can get I that just, one. yeah. I mean, we can change, well, I do like the coconut. But I like that one. The first one. Mm hmm Yeah. If I had to settle. But if I didn't have to settle, I need to have uh, chocolate. I already told. I need to have chocolate, or I would have the red belt. We can get chocolate cake on the way home to satisfy your chocolate cake craving. There's going to be brownies and a bunch of chocolate already there. So we're gonna get chocolate cake too. Literally, look how much we ate and- Red velvet. Red velvet is really good. But there's just something about this one. I think it's the coconut flakes, or shavings. Yeah, coconut's really good. Mm -hmm. Red velvet with coconut. We're not doing red velvet cake. That was good. So, we're getting his wedding band from the brand called Emblem. And I'm sure you've heard of it because it's all over Instagram. So I saw an ad, so that's why I checked it out. But it's cool because they send you sample rings so that you can try on all the rings and find your right size before you actually order your ring because I got one of these things. Oh, one of these ring sizers, but I don't really trust it completely because we couldn't even really work it properly. So I'm glad that they do this literally for free. Let's see. Find your perfect fit. The right band for you will feel snug but not too tight. Bend your knuckle and twist the sizer as you take it off. A little bit of tug is good. If it slips over right over your knuckle, it's too big. Fit tips. Get cozy with your sizer. We recommend wearing it around for up to a day without through natural temperature fluctuations. Dang, there's a lot in here. Dang. They literally have every size. Can you see that? Yeah. That's cool. <sighs> okay. Oh, they're like, these are stuck. Or 12. This one. That's an 8. It's not that comfortable. Well, this isn't gonna be the ring. These are literally just pieces of metal. That's an 8? Mm-hmm. Okay, 7.5. This is a 7. Seven and a half is too tight. It doesn't even fit over your knuckle? No. So it looks like the 8 it is. 11. Oh, this is a 9. That's a 9? 
that yeah. you tried on? Yeah. No, it wasn't. It was an eight. I saw it. Well, where'd it go? I don't know. This is an eight. <laughs> it was a nine. Where's the eight and a half? Oh, eight and a half. Try this one. It's supposed to be no. hard to get on. See? Barely any resistance. <laughs> it won't come off. It will. You have to twist it. Man needs soap. <laughs> Nine is, I feel like it's too big. Because when we measured you with the other thing, you were an eight, remember? So good thing we didn't order you an eight. She's making my all of my nightmares come true now. Now I gotta put soap on it. It's actually eight. Maybe I can try them. Even though I'm already getting my ring set. Nope, that's a six. Why don't they have smaller ones for people with small hands? The smallest they have is a six. What if you had smaller fingers than a six? Yeah, definitely. If not. Okay, I'll be able to get off the of soap. <laughs> okay, so nine? Well, that's good because we thought you were an eight. So I guess don't trust these little zip tie things because it didn't really work. Can you try? Oh, it's soaking wet. Can you try the nine again to make sure? They recommend wearing it around for a day, so can you wear it around for a day? No. Why not? Because so <sighs> then I'm going to wear that one. Yeah, that was scary. Okay, just keep it on for a little bit then. So you're a nine. I think I can keep these. Okay, the lighting in here is not cute. And like the coloring is off. But I got a bunch of stuff from Amazon. And it should be like kind of the last packages that I'm gonna be getting. This is just stuff that I needed to get and I still have probably a little bit more to get but this is the majority of it. So we're having 12 dinner tables and I found an exact pack of 12 table runners. I'm not gonna take them all out but they're just white chiffon table runners. They're 10 feet long and I got them for really cheap on Amazon. I was looking and most of them sell like one table runner for like $10 and that would have been like just very expensive you can do the math but I think I got 12 of these for like $70 or $60 which is a very good deal considering a lot of places sell them for very expensive so I got that and we needed those for sure I got two packs of batteries so I got a huge pack of AAA batteries these are Amazon basics I've never used Amazon basics batteries but they're so cheap and have such good reviews so I mean of course I had to try them and then I just got a bunch of stuff mainly all this is like candles LED candles and then also votives and stuff so these these are a huge pack of these mini tea light candles and they're LED and they already have the battery in them. So you just flick them on and they're so cute. They're so small and they're going to be adorable. So we, we could put these in some votives like these that I'm about to show you. This is another pack of pillar candles. I'm not gonna take them out because they're like really packaged, but it's, I think there's like nine of them and they're flameless LED. But those, I got two huge boxes of candle votives. So cute, look at these little glass votives. Adorable and all you have to do is flip these on and put them in and they look so real. So that's adorable. And we don't even need these for all of the candles either. We could like definitely just put the candles out without these because I think there's like, I wanna say 50 votives that I got that were this design. And then we got another pack of AA batteries for all these candles and this box has all of the regular votives that don't have like the design on them. So again, we could just put these in there and they're so cute. I also have a hundred pack of like real tea light candles. So those will most likely be actually in here because they have to be, but yeah, these are so cute, so cute. And I love that they don't need extra batteries because they come with like special batteries that I don't have. So yeah. I think that's all of the stuff that I had to show you. Okay, I actually opened up the package of the ones that are were all packaged up. I think there's nine. One, two, three, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, nine different ones, and they're all different sizes, so they look really cute, like, next to each other. And I'm pretty sure they're real wax, too, so they're very real looking. So this is what they look like. These are going to be really cute. I think we're going to put them, like, underneath the welcome sign or underneath the seating chart. I'm not sure yet. These do need batteries. What size batteries do these? Oh, double A. Yeah, so cute. All right, we're doing some DIY projects today. Got a lot of random stuff that I haven't done yet. So let's go through them. First off, we have all of our disposable cameras and I made these little cards that explain like what they're for. I made them unminted. 
This is what they say if you want to pause and read it. But they have little holes, so we're gonna tie these onto each camera. And I have two different types of ribbon. I don't know which one's gonna work better. We have this just plain, really thin gold ribbon from Walmart. And then I got this really, really pretty thing of ribbon from Amazon. And look at these colors. They're so pretty and they're like, what are they called? I forgot what they're called, but they're the prettiest colors ever. They're just really thick, like width wise. So if we use them, we probably have to cut them in half or something or save them for something else. But we have that. And then we also have our table numbers. So I made these on Canva and we need to cut them out into four by six squares. And then we have a bunch of these frames that we're gonna put over each one. And we also have extra of those frames. So I went on Walmart's website and I printed out all of our engagement shoot pictures. We've got all of them. So we're just gonna fill like the extra frames with our favorite pictures and put them around probably for like the cocktail hour space because I literally have no decorations for that area because I just didn't think about that very much and it's like pretty decorated itself. So I didn't want to spend a lot of time decorating that especially if we're not even gonna probably even see it because we were supposed to be taking pictures during that time. But those are the things we need to do today. We also have our favors that we need to bag up I don't know if I ever showed you them. I need to show you. I obviously want it to be like a surprise for our guests, but I doubt many of them are even gonna watch this. So, okay, I'll show you because they're so cute. We got custom M&Ms, the cutest things ever. One of them just says thank you. One of them says L plus K 052122. And the other one has a picture of Rocco. When I open it, and I'll show you what it looks like close up, but so cute. They're just black, white, and oh, just black and white because they didn't have very many cute colors. But we customized those. It's a five pound bag, so we need to figure out how to like distribute that. But how we got these little plastic baggies. Frames on, they're three by five bags. So we have these, and then we also, I'm just gonna use the ribbon that we are gonna use for everything else to tie those back. But we're probably not gonna do that today. I don't wanna like open this bag and fill them too far in advance because I don't know if M&Ms get bad or old. I don't think they do, but we'll see. Okay, Kiko is also here, so he's gonna help me cut the ribbon to the correct length. And I'm gonna string these onto the little hole right here, and it'll just be a little tag, you know, a little boop. Okay, I need to figure out how long they have to be though. Okay, my camera's about to die, but I just finished. I actually used this twine instead of the ribbon because it was kind of cheap, so it was like falling apart on the ends. And the twine looks a lot better. So I just finished those, so that's pretty satisfying. They look really cute, and the little tag just hangs. Adorable. Okay, my battery died, and I don't have my replacement, but I started to do the table numbers, and I wanted to pause until I could show you some. So I did the first nine. Look how cute they are. I cut the pages they looked like this before these are extra we actually don't need 13 or 14 because we only have 12 tables i get the paper and then i use this decal edge cutter that i got from amazon i use this for my invitations also and i just decal edge cut the edges so they look like this and they look really cute put them in these little floating frames from minted and then put a little piece of gold washi tape on them because they actually slide down, but I like how they look with the washi tape. So yeah, I'm gonna do the other three that I have left and show you how I've been making them. Okay, those are all done. They're so cute. I'm so obsessed with them. I want to share them like on my Instagram, but I also want it to be a surprise. But I think I'm going to share them because I can't wait while I DIY. Okay, I picked out an 8x10 picture so that I can put in this 
frame right here. This is our largest frame that we have. I might get bigger ones, but I found it at Ross and it's super cute. I really love the floating frames because there's not like any wires that go behind it, you know? So I got an 8x10 printout of one of our engagement pictures. It's this one. It's one of our favorite pictures. So cute. And I'm just going to put it in here and see how it looks after that. Okay, just put it in the frame. It looks so cute. I also have these easels that I got from the Target Dollar Tree that I thought would be really cute to put the bigger pictures on. I also have this other frame that's gonna go on one. I need to figure out what to do with the like painting of it. I don't know if I want to keep it like this or paint it gold or paint it white or like just stain it a darker color. I'm not sure yet. So help me decide. <laughs> so it is April 19th and we're doing our first hair trial because Brittany's probably doing my hair and this was very spontaneous we weren't really planning on doing it today but we're doing it because why not my hair is pretty oily but it's fine so we'll keep you updated this video's on repeat i love this girl's hair videos that's literally what we're doing very easy but we didn't curl it before we're probably gonna curl it after well we are gonna curl it after Okay, so this is what we have before we put some waves in it. I mean, it looks pretty similar, yeah. I think. I think once the waves are in, it's gonna look so much better. So but yeah, so we have the little ties. It looks cute, I think. Yeah, and my veil will actually sit. Oh yeah, this part will be perfect. Yeah, because without anything, so cute. Marco. No more ball. Well, it'll be easy to curl because there's barely any hair left. Mm -hmm. You Here's can't just style change. one. Some things we're gonna change. We're gonna curl it first before before everything else next time. Yeah, and then we're taking off the top layer and starting it lower. Mm -hmm. But still, probably gonna do the twists, but just do it lower so it's just so it second yeah, right so it doesn't start so high. Yeah, and then I'm gonna keep some front pieces out. She's gonna take put less hair in the actual braidy thing. So and leave more, more hair can be out here. And I'm getting my hair done again before the wedding. So it'll be a lot more blended through. So all this dark won't be very dark. It'll be a lot more even. And it'll be a lot more light pieces around all this area. But it'll look better throughout the whole thing too. But it looks so cute. It does look cute though. It does. And we tried it on with the nail too. And it definitely stays like mm -hmm. for sure. It's hefty in here. And with my earrings and my necklace. And yeah. Cool. Every single video. He does that? Yes. <laughs> His face. So fast, yeah. You nailed it. <laughs> Alright, you guys, I just realized I've never ended off this wedding planning vlog, so make sure you subscribe for more wedding videos, college content since I'm graduating in literally two weeks, and just my whole life after that. Make sure you also like and comment because I'm responding to all my comments, and let me know if any questions you guys have with this whole wedding planning process because it's crazy and I feel like I know so much now. So yeah, if you have any questions, just let me know down below. Make sure you subscribe and follow me on TikTok and Instagram and all the fun stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next video. I love you guys so much. Much. See you next time. Bye, guys.